Hi everyone and welcome back to another video on my channel. In today's video, I am going to do a watch me work or a tutorial video for you. Now this is a viewer requested video and I posted a while back a picture of a set of nails that I did, the Aurora nails. So this picture right here and I received so many requests on how did you do that? Can you please make a video? So that's what I'm going to do today. And I've also received a number of messages to show you guys how I apply my Swarovski crystals. So this is going to be a two for one video for you guys. So if you're interested in seeing how I do the Aurora nails with gem placements, just keep on watching. Okay, so these are the products that I'm going to be using for the Aurora nails and Actually, all of this stuff is from Wildflowers, the metallic top coat. I'm using the top coat, the gel top coat. The These are the Angel Flakes, and I will be using Seraphim from the Angel Flakes pack, and then also some uh, Angel Paper. And this is Fuchsia Chrome, and it came in their powdered sugar kit, and that kit has like eight different chromes in it. So I'm using my Glamour Liz hand and I'm applying the metallic top coat on top of these tips. And the tips are also from Wildflowers and they're the long almond, I believe. So you can go ahead and if you are doing this from scratch, build out your nail really thinly and shape it and then go in with the metallic top coat and then cure for 30 seconds. So I'm just starting with the top coat here for, for time's sake. So now that the metallic top coat has been cured, I'm going to take the fuchsia chrome and rub a layer of the chrome on all the nails. So I decided to use the Glamour Liz hand instead of the red iguana hand. The, my Glamour Liz hand, which is Elsa, is not poseable and I find it easier to move the fingers around as if I was actually working on a real hand. And the hand itself is just really realistic. Lizzie does an, a fantastic job on creating her hands. I highly recommend this hand. And she's even improved them so, so much since when I first purchased a few hands from her. <laughs> Then I'll take a soft dust brush and just dust the remaining pigment off so it doesn't contaminate my top coat. And I'm applying the metallic top coat over top and curing again for another 30 seconds. And also the dust brush that I use is, I think it's the Big Daddy or the Fluff, the Big Daddy. <laughs> I think it's called the Fluff Daddy <laughs> from Selena Ryden's signature brush collection. <laughs> So this next part can get a little bit finicky, but it, it's a lot of fun actually. I've cut out five pieces of angel paper and I'm just resizing it. So I'm just resizing it, cutting it and resizing it, <laughs> easy. Now I'm going in with Jimmy Gel, the clear Jimmy Gel, and just putting a slip layer down. You can also use a hard gel, and I'm almost wishing I would have used a hard gel, but for this demonstration, I am using the Jimmy Gel. So I'm placing the angel paper on the uncured Jimmy Gel. I would probably recommend using gloves so you don't get any product on your hands or your skin, and just making it fit even more, curing it for 30 seconds, or you could do a flash cure if you like like and cutting it some more so the nail on the sides and the tip are actually exposed and you want that exposure so the gel that you're using goes all the way around the nail itself and embeds or encases that angel paper so here I'm putting a slip layer of Jimmy gel on and then now I'm kind of doing the ball of gel and building up the structure and the apex well shortly here now I'm doing it. <laughs> so after I get the gel on where I want it, build up my structure and apex, I will cure again for a full 30 seconds. So here I'm just going to do the same thing over again, except for with this nail, I'm scrunching up the angel paper just to give it a different look. You don't have to do this, but I kind of wanted to switch it up a little bit. So this next little bit of the video, you're just gonna see me doing the exact same thing that I did on the pinky finger.
Okay, so this is where I will use the angel flakes. If I notice a section of the nail that is clear, doesn't have enough pigment or the angel paper on, I'll go in with these angel flakes and just cover it up on the tacky layer of the gel. So now I'm going in with the Jimmy gel, putting on that slip layer, and I am wiping my brush off before I stick the brush back into the bottle. And now I'm building up the apex and the structure to get a nice strong nail. And then curing for 30 seconds in my LED light. So moving on you're going to see the exact same thing so just sit back and enjoy I also should mention, in case I forget, the little brush I'm using right now is from Magpie Beauty. I do have a Wildflowers brush similar to this, but I can't find it. I rearranged my drawers and my gel drawers. <laughs> Should I edit that out? <laughs> Anyways, I couldn't find the brush I wanted and the Magpie Beauty brush was there and did the trick perfectly. So if I was doing this design on a real client or a real hand or even myself, I wouldn't do one finger at a time. I think that would just take too long. I would do each step on each finger, then move to the next step on each finger. I hope that makes sense, but I kind of didn't film it this way. So I hope it's not too confusing. And if you want to know the steps of what I'm doing, go back to the pinky finger. And that's the steps that I'm basically doing on all five nails here. So now I'm wiping the dispersion layer off with 99% alcohol and then I'm going to file. Now I'm only going to show you a couple of nails of how I would file. I file the sides first and then I go around the side like you see here, around the cuticle and around the other side wall and then I will do the top very lightly. I didn't put a whole lot of gel on these nail tips so there's not a whole lot of filing I would have to do. So I filed the rest off camera because I actually took the nails out and filed them. I don't like to file on my silicone hands. I just don't want to wreck the hands and I've already done enough damage to poor Elsa here that I need to protect her. <laughs> so what am I doing now? Oh, I'm going in here with the Jimmy gel because I noticed there's some spots that are just too clear for my, li my liking. So I put a thin layer of Jimmy gel on and then I'm going in with the angel flakes and just putting it on the tip here so you get a little bit more dimension. So here I'm going in with a thin layer of Jimmy gel, very, very thin, so I don't have to do any filing. I noticed I did over file in some spots. So on all five nails, I'm doing this step just to protect it a little bit more to make sure that all of the paper that's in between the gel is fully encapsulated. And if you're careful and don't over file, you can definitely skip this step. I kind of get a little file happy. <laughs> I love filing, actually. It happens to be the, the step I look forward to the most when I'm doing a set of nails. Okay, so I've cured that layer for 30 seconds. Now I'm going in and doing the crystal placement. And these are the crystals, Swarovski crystals that I'm going to be using along with Sticket from Ugly Duckling. So what I will do is put the Sticket on where I know I want my design, place the gems on before I cure the Sticket, make sure the gems are exactly where I want them, and then I will cure for 30 seconds in my LED light. Now I prefer to use stick it all the time. I don't really like using glue because I don't work fast enough. And here's a close-up of what the gems look like before I cure it. So now I'm going in with the top coat gel and putting it on all the nails. I will surround the top coat gel around the Swarovski crystals. I won't put them on the crystals because they will dull if you put any kind of top coat on the crystal itself. So I'm taking my Ugly Duckling detailer two brushes you saw there 
and just getting in nice and tight close to the crystals. And my clients don't lose crystals. They'll come back four weeks later for their fill and every single crystal is still on their nails. So I really like the stick it and the top coat. It works really well and I have no complaints. So this is the set. Very, very easy. When I first saw the Aurora nails come out on social media, I thought, oh, I can't do this. And I actually saw a YouTube tutorial on it and I thought I can do this. I tried it on my own nails. You guys loved it. So I thought I would show you how I did the Aurora nails. So if you have any questions, please comment them down below and I'll do my best to answer them as quickly as I can for you. And this design was actually really easy to do. The angel paper was a tad bit finicky, but it really doesn't matter. It doesn't matter if the angel paper goes on nice and smooth or if it goes on crinkly. It, I think the crinkly parts of the angel paper add depth and dimension to this design and it's quite breathtaking. So that is it for this video. Really super easy. Again, I can't st state that enough. It was really easy to do. I hope you enjoyed this video and as always, don't forget to follow me on all my social media. Subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't already and hit that like button and share this video because that's what helps my channel grow and I really appreciate your guys's help and I love reading your comments you guys know that and I think that's that's it that's all I have to say so until the next video we will see you again soon bye guys